Hi, I'm Daniel Ramey. And I'm Josh Ramey. We put together a skid mount firefighting pump uh, that we uh, thought would be of interest to you. We're, we're both firefighters and both work uh, for a PVC fitting company, so after hours, this is what we came up with. So, first thing is what parts are you going to need? This is a IBC tote, a 275 gallon. Uh, some features that you're going to want is you're going to want a ball valve. Um, you're going to want a cam lock uh, male connection. And you're going to want something nice and resistant to corrosion. Uh, like, a, you know, don't want a wood base or anything. So a good plastic or, or uh, metal. You don't want to get any bigger than this because when you get this full of water, it weighs a lot. Eight pounds per gallon. So uh, that's going to overload a truck real quick. All right, so you'll need a, a plastic pallet that's just be the same width. Um, it's good to not use a, a wooden pallet. Best is to use plastic or metal. The next is a, a pump. Um, this is a high pressure pump. If you're looking for a Honda, it'll have an H in it for high pressure. It, and then um, other pumps work good as well, but you don't want like a trash pump or a, a volume pump. Some rails uh, to tie your pallet and your IBC container together. Um, different metal can work, just something nice and rigid. Uh, then you're going to need uh, some uh, PVC pipe fitting. Um, you're going to need a cam lock, uh, double female threads to cam lock. Uh, you're going to need a, a slip, a slip. Uh, two inch 45 degree you're going to need some thread pipe with a thread and end on it to go into the cam lock just some regular piece of uh, two inch schedule 40 pipe uh, you're going to need an elbow that's uh, threaded and on one end and slip on the other adapter from uh, national hose threads to national pipe threads uh, and then uh, last you're going to need some a uh, few more fittings uh, you're going to need a um, inch and a half uh, female to two inch male threaded adapter and then a, a ball valve that's inch and a half by inch and a half. thing you're going to need is uh, some kind of a surface material like grizzly board or uh, other hard plastic material for the deck of your uh, uh, pump area. So first thing is we're going to dry fit a lot of these fittings to make sure our pump is in the right place before we glue anything. So we're going to start by just putting our um, uh, threaded fitting onto the um, cam lock. And then we're going to cut it off uh, where it goes into the 45. Alright, so you can see the socket depth here. So I'm going to cut this off about right there. All right, actually, I'm going to go ahead and glue this now because we won't need to take this apart. So we thread it on this here nice and firm, and then we're just going to take and thread this uh, adapter over. I like going an uh, inch and a half to two inch. That way the, the there's no restriction on getting more water in and you can get full capacity of your pump. So then to get the length of your pipe, you go there to So now that you have your, your distance right, you're going to measure on your pallet to see about how far you need to come out uh, on your pallet. So on here, I'm going to come out all the way to here. Should give me plenty of room, plus it'll capture this firm part of the pallet. off a few more things. So 
it's hitting right here, so I'm gonna trim that. So now we've taken the container out of the truck. We're gonna flip it on its side and connect the pallet to the end of the container here. So the main thing, you want to make sure this comes out flush so that it, and, and square so it sits nicely and that your, uh, your forks can come through all the way without being impeded. So you get your piece of grizzly board and then you just cut out so that it matches well uh, onto your tank. Um, you know, mine I'm making so it kind of slides in there and interlocks. You can round the corners. Uh, make it fit well. So we're going to make a cardboard template and we start by just drilling one hole. Like that. Now we're going to match that hole up with one of the pieces on the bottom here. Then I'm going to mark another hole. making sure my engine is all square. All right, so now I'm gonna drill a hole in the bottom of this and this is gonna be the hole for the, uh, to hold the motor down to the platform. So just one hole, 7 sixteenths. Uh, now mark my hole the, for the hold down bolt onto the template. Then I'm going to line up this unit so that it's all straight. Match. So I'm going to move this on to another pallet so that when I drill these holes uh, and it goes through, it doesn't hurt my pallet. So I'm using an inch and an eighth paddle bit. Now we're going to put a washer back on the back side of this panel and then a bolt going through that so it can come up through this hole and that's what will hold our motor down from popping off. Before I do that, I want to hammer these carriage bolt threads into that washer so they'll hold firm. Alright, so I've drilled a hole. I'm just going to take my uh, washer and bolt and put over that. What that does is that just sets it in there so that won't turn. So we take our uh, washer with the carriage bolt, bring it up here. We'll put another washer on top and a nut. Now the last thing, I'm just going to put in a self-tapping screw on the side just to hold that bottom washer from turning. Alright, now we're going to just set our pump back up here and double check our pipe links. When this all goes together, it should be set in the place it's supposed to be.